Hello everybody, we are back with another YouTube video, and today one of my subscribers asked me to make a CapCut color editing tutorial, so that's what we're going to be doing. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, so what you're going to want to do is get your clip for the cars, sp split them, so every time the frame changes, they change with it. Then the next thing you want to do is click on these white boxes, look up shake down, then what you're going to do that is you're going to click it and push apply to all. After that, click on any of these frames. You're going to find cross shake and apply that to every frame. So after you've done that, this is where we do effects. Go to effects, look up bad TV. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that effect. And you're going to split it halfway. So you're going to want to align it about halfway. Then what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate it and align it with every clip. I'll see you after I'm done. Alright, so after you've done that, you're going to duplicate all these clips twice. Alright, after you've done that, you're going to open effects and look up black flash. You can use either one. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to turn the speed to 25. The intensity... To 10. And I'm going to have it extend out the whole clip. Now, for the next part, we're going to look up opaque blur. Now, once you found that, you're going to make it about that much. So you're going to want to make sure that's only there for around a split second. So, around right there. Now, you just go and clip it and do the same thing you did with the other effects and just align them with all the other clips. Alright, once you've done that, duplicate it once on each frame. Alright, done. So now, you don't have to do this, but I do. You can go to every clip, add a keyframe at the end, at the beginning and the end, and do that for every clip. You've done that. This is where it gets kind of hard. You're going to go to the last keyframe, go to Opacity. And you're going to turn it down to 20 on each last keyframe. So you're going to go to the end of every video and turn it down to 20. Like I said, this is optional. I don't do this in my opinion. But if you are trying to make good car edits, it does look pretty good on it. And then, yeah, it should be done. So, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Drake is up. It's like this and like that and like this and up. It's like that and like this and like that and up.